my name is Annie Reed, and since I became a coach in 2011, my life has dramatically changed. So when I started coaching, my family was actually at the worst spot emotionally, financially, um, emotionally that we had ever been in. We had just had our third child, a little girl, and she was born with Down syndrome, and within the first month of her life, she went into heart failure and she needed open heart surgery. All of this required me to take an extended leave from my full-time job and no matter how much you save, sometimes you just aren't ready for things like that to happen. And um, emotionally, it was the hardest time of our life, the fear of handing her over if she would survive open heart surgery, um, taking care of her every day and being the sole caretaker to make sure she survived up to that surgery. And financially, our income was cut in half. Um, it was a very hard point in our lives, and I knew I needed to be home. So that's what we did. Shortly after her open heart surgery, she kicked butt. She came home in five days. She's a tiny little rock star still. Um, I joined a challenge group because I, I needed to find me again. And it, in that group, I lost 40 pounds. Eventually, my husband lost 40 pounds also, and I found my passion and purpose in life. I started coaching other people, helping them mainly for my own personal accountability. I was like the number one supporter of McDonald's back then, and so I I learned how to, how to get healthy, and I took my whole family along for the ride. So it changed my health. My husband um, had high cholesterol, he ended up losing 40 pounds too, so he no longer needed cholesterol medicine. Life-changing in both of those ways, but I fell in love with helping empower other women. It allowed me to stay a stay-at-home mom, which is what I needed to be for my daughter Ollie's therapies. Um, in order for her to do her best and to maximize her potential and get her as close as possible to her um, typical peers was our goal and so me being home allowed me to take her to all the therapies necessary for her to be today in a kindergarten class and absolutely thriving. Um, the other really amazing aspect of coaching is not only did it secure me my dream job as an actual stay-at-home mom that's not broke and on public aid, it also gave us the financial opportunity to adopt another child, uh, another child with Down syndrome. And I get a little emotional because it's still fresh, it's been this year, but we went to China. And we brought home a beautiful three-year-old little girl who also has Down syndrome. And um, now we have five, four kids, I'm still a stay-at-home mom, but the opportunities that this has given me, I can hardly put it into words because I get to stay home with my kids. I get to make sure that my girls with Down syndrome have the best medical care, the best therapies, that they are thriving in their school and their academics because I get to be the one that's at all of the things that are important to their future, I get to be there. And that, that has always really mattered to me. I get to give back. Um, we get to give a lot of money every year to charities um, that matter to us and to help other orphans get families too. And I get to be there when my kids are sick or they have school parties. Um, time, time is the most valuable commodity to me. And I own my own time now because of coaching. And I never would have dreamed in 2011 when I started 40 pounds over week, overweight, broke, um, forced onto public aid because of our, our family situation that today we would find financial freedom, that I would still be a stay-at-home mom, that we would have four kids, because of what this opportunity has provided. And it's allowed me to do all of those things by doing what I love, which is helping empower other people, helping other people get healthy and creating generational health in other families just like mine. So I'm so excited that you are here and in this group and I hope that you open your mind up to dreaming of what is possible for you because it's totally possible.